Hey guys, this is Jeff with High Download Blow. We're going to talk about what's on my iDevice, the August 2011 edition. And the first item up for bid is, of course, Play Own. Play Own, folks, is a basically a media platform that allows you to play content from various sources, as you see here. You have Hulu, Netflix, Amazon, ESPN. If you watch my Apple TV video, then you're familiar with Play Own because I showed you how you could watch Play Own on your Apple TV. You will need the Play On subscription service uh, to use this, but it is very cool. The next item is LastPass, and for those of you who know me, you know, you know that I love me some LastPass. I've used this ever since I've had an iPhone. Uh, it's just a superb app. It allows you to access all your LastPass passwords, you know, from your desktop right on your iPhone. Uh, if you have a premium subscription, I think it's like maybe 12 bucks a year or something like that. But this is really convenient because all your passwords that you use on your desktop are synced you know, to the mobile application. You can go in, log in. You can even set up a, you know, a pass key so you don't have to type in that long master password, which is really, really nice. The next app I'm gonna talk about today is Echo Phone. Again, this is a staple of, of mine. I've used this thing for who knows how long. Echo Phone is the epitome it is the best Twitter client out. I mean, just bar none. You know, TweetBot does come close. It does come close, especially with all the latest features that have been implemented. But this one is just heads and shoulders above all. It has all the features that you come to expect. You can sync it with the desktop version. It has mute, <laughs> which is very nice. Uh, there's just a lot of different features with Echo Phone, and it's very tidy. It's, it's a very tidy timeline. You see what you want, you get what you want, you have all your mentions, you have your messages, your list, you can do easy searches, there's uh, location awareness, all sorts of different you know cool items in Echo Phone. And it is by far the best Twitter client that I've ever used on the iPhone. There's some good competitors, but Sebastian, you know, Simply Tweet doesn't compete, okay? Now let's talk about our next item on our list of five. It is day one, and day one allows you, it's basically a diary. I know, a yeah, diary is kind of lame, but no, it's just really cool because it allows you to sync with Dropbox. You have all these different options. Um, you can sync it with the desktop version of day one. And then really, it's just great because you can keep a, a record. I was going to say diary, but you can keep a record of your life. And really, life is so fleeting that it's really good to write down your thoughts so you remember where you were in the stream of time. For instance, I'm making a video for the best viewers on YouTube right now, and I'll remember that. I can go back a year from now and remember what I was doing right at this very moment. So it's very cool. Uh, you have favorites. You can email entries, uh, easily delete them, and then you can go back in, in your timeline and view all your previous entries. Now, our next item here is the finale. It is Match Panic. Match Panic is re ridiculous how fun and addicting this game is. If you guys haven't tried this out, you're really missing out. Uh, it's very, very, uh, it's very fun. I mean, I can't really describe It's just crazy, man. It looks easy. It looks simple. All you do is match both sides. So if you see, for instance, you, you just watch the video, you see exactly what's going on. You just tap the left or right side, depending on which item comes in the stream, and then you match them up. But it's easier said than done. As you can see here, I'm kind of messing up. And let me just show you how to really play this game here. I'm going to show you right now. Here it is, folks. Here's my match panic extravaganza. I'm just going to end the video on this note and show you a perfect match panic playthrough right here. So, folks, this is what's on my iPhone, the August 2011 edition. I know I'm a little late, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.